Hi, this is Carlos Heredia from YourGreatBusiness.com and in this week's video we're going to discuss how to deal with the doubters. And what I mean by that is if you're starting a new business or a new company or let's say you're launching a new product or service, chances are you're going to come across some people that don't understand what you're up to and really don't get the path that you're on. And so they may have a, something negative to say about your new opportunity or throw some doubts or, or skepticism um, about where you're headed. So in this video, I'd like to provide five strategies that you can, can consider in how to deal with the naysayers, how to deal with the doubters as you push forward with your new opportunity. So the first strategy to consider is to know your purpose. So whether you want to call it a mission statement or your company values, um, it's important to go back and understand why you're, why you're establishing that new company or why you're doing this, why you're pursuing this new opportunity. So if you can step back and reflect and, and understand your truth and why you're headed down that path, that can get you grounded and, and help you deal with uh, some of this negativity or, or doubts that, that are thrown your way. So uh, get grounded, keep going. And, and once you've figured out the, the underlying purpose or meaning of, of why you're, you're, you're setting up this new business or, or pursuing this new opportunity, you can come back to that and, and get grounded again when uh, the doubts start to uh, seep in and, and, and start to affect your ability to continue to push forward. So a second strategy that, that you can consider is to remember that you're the one that's taking action. You had the courage to get this new opportunity started, whether it's a new business or a new product or service. And so you're, you're the doer. You're out there planning and executing and learning and adjusting. It may not always be perfect and you will have to make adjustments as you go, but you're out there doing things, making things happen, and you should feel good about the path that you've, you've created for yourself and the fact that you've had the courage to, to step out and, and take the steps to create something new. The third point is that you can only control yourself. So this is this concept of self-mastery. You can't control others and what they think and their perceptions about what you're doing. You can only control uh, where you are in the moment and um, assess where you're headed with your business and, and try to make the best uh, next steps forward for your business at that point in time. So uh, you can only control yourself and you need to stay on your path and continue to make that, that positive progress forward with your new business. The fourth thing to remember is to be open. So this is flipping the, the doubters and the naysayers, flipping uh, their input, and, and to try and have maybe a more positive perspective on, on what they're telling you. So be open and, and listen to, to what they're saying. You're not perfect, they aren't perfect, and they may have some insight or perspective or may say something that will trigger a thought or some adjustment in your, in your, in your path that may prove to be beneficial. So don't reject out of hand everything that you hear that's not positive. There may be a nugget, um, a, an insider, or something valuable that the, the quote unquote doubters or naysayers uh, may tell you. So be open, listen, and to the extent you can, be objective and, and try and learn from, from the input that you're receiving. The fifth and final point is an important one for you to remember, and that is you're not alone. You're not the only one that, that will hear negative comments or, or have people doubting your, your path or your new business or whatever new opportunity that you're pursuing. Some of the people that have created the greatest companies or that have uh, spurred on the greatest social change have had their detractors and had people that thought they were crazy or at a minimum just didn't agree with the path that they were on. So um, if you continue uh, with a, a new business and, and something that's, that's new and, and, and different, you're going to encounter some people that don't understand where you're headed or just don't get um, the, the path that you're on. So be prepared to, to um, encounter them and, and, and remember that you're not alone. Um, continue to create your, your great business and, and keep moving ahead. I hope that this video has been helpful in, in providing some strategies about how to uh, deal with the doubters and, and naysayers and to, to stay on track and continue to advance your, your new business. Um, as always, I would love to hear from you about um, how you deal with the doubters or how you deal with the naysayers. Please provide uh, a comment below um, because your comments are, are what really help other people um, to, to learn and, and, and know how others are dealing with these types of situations. This is Carlos Sedadia from YourGreatBusiness.com. Thank you for your time.